Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in this super quick video, I wanted to walk you through Yoast's brand new first time configuration widget. As you probably already know, the WordPress world tends to move somewhat fast when there are updates and the plugins are no different. We just went through the WordPress 6.0 update, and since my last blogging tutorial that I just published a few days ago, there has already been a slight change to some of the steps that you take in order to configure the Yoast SEO plugin. It's not a huge change, but to avoid any confusion, I wanted to create this quick video to walk you through the new steps to configure the plugin. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so within your WordPress dashboard, hover your mouse over Yoast SEO and click on General. And this will bring you to your Yoast SEO settings. Now, if this is your very first time configuring the plugin, you'll see a notification somewhere at the top of the screen with a link to start the configuration process. However, I already clicked that link when I was testing and QAing the updated plugin, and it disappeared right after I clicked it one time. So another way to get to this configuration widget is to simply click the first time configuration tab, and this will take you directly to the updated configuration widget. This is probably the main difference from the previous version of the plugin because you used to have to go through what Yoast called their workouts in order to configure the plugin. However, they've now made the workouts a separate premium feature that you can explore here. But like I said, Yoast has completely removed the configuration process from the workouts. So moving forward, this is how you'll configure your plugin. Okay, so the new first time configuration steps are pretty much the exact same as before. Yoast still has it simplified down to five steps. It's just that the steps to get here have changed and so has the user interface. Yoast now calls these five steps their Yoast indexable squad. Other than that, it's pretty much the exact same. So the first step in the configuration process is the SEO data optimization. This lets the plugin analyze your site just like Google does and will immediately improve technical SEO issues without you having to do anything. And if you're seeing this green notification, then that means that Yoast has already successfully analyzed your site. However, if you're seeing something like this, then go ahead and click the Start SEO Data Optimization button and let it do its thing. Then as soon as you see the green notification, click the Continue button to move on to the next step, which is Site Representation. So the Site Representation will help tell the search engines whether you're a person or an organization, and it will help Google to better understand your site. So the first question is asking if you're an organization or a person. If you're running a blog like I am in this video, you'll wanna to switch to person. So from that dropdown, just select person. Below that, you'll be asked to select the name of the user associated with the site. So within that dropdown, select the name associated with your WordPress user profile. Next is the person logo or avatar. This is like a featured image that will be used within the search results. And for this example, I'm using one of my demo food blogs and I've created an image in canva.com that represents the brand of this food blog. Additionally, I should point out that WordPress recommends that you use an image that's 1200 by 628 pixels for your featured images. So keep that in mind when you're creating your image for this particular section of the video. Okay, back at WordPress, let's add the image. So go ahead and click the select image button and this will take you to your media library and simply upload the image you wanna use or select one from your media library. I've already uploaded the image, so I'll select it and then click the select button. And the image has been added and we can move on to the next step. So go ahead and click the save and continue button. Next, we have the social profiles. This will help the search engine bots know what social networks your blog is associated with. Again, this is important because when the search engines crawl your site and see that you're connected to multiple popular social networks with followings, it can give you more authority and help to boost your search engine ranking. This is one of the major changes to the configuration process because you used to have to add your social profile URLs outside of this widget. However, now you can add them right here, which is super convenient. So all you're going to do is enter the URLs of all of the social networks that you're associated with. And Yoast has an example of the social profile URLs in each field that you could check out. Gives you an idea of what you need to add here. And then once you've added all the URLs of your social profiles, go ahead and click the save and continue button to move on. Next are the personal preferences. 
Here, Yoast is asking you for permission to collect certain anonymous information about your site and how you use it. So go ahead and select yes or no here if you wanna share your data or not. Additionally, if you wanna know more about what data they collect and why, visit this link for more info. Finally, Yoast is asking you to sign up to their newsletter. I actually recommend doing this. They have a ton of helpful content that they send to their subscribers to help you improve your blog's SEO. So sign up here if you'd like. All right, once you have everything filled out, go ahead and click the save and continue button. And then that's gonna do it. The plugin has been configured and Yoast is now taking care of a lot of the technical aspects of SEO. So go ahead and click the go to your SEO dashboard button. And we're done with the first time configuration. Nice work. Now, if for any reason you need to get back to the configuration widget, simply open the first time configuration tab again and you can easily edit any of the steps if you need to make changes by clicking the edit button and then making your edits as needed. Then once you've made all your edits, don't forget to save your changes and then you'll be good to go. So that's pretty much all that has changed within the Yoast SEO plugin since the update. Everything else is the same and can be followed along using my blogging tutorials. And if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to check out my other Yoast SEO video tutorial. It walks you through the additional features of the plugin and will help you optimize your site for the search engines. Again, this video was strictly to show you the updated version of the first time configuration widget because I know it can be confusing when you're watching a tutorial and the steps outlined aren't the same as what you see on your end. So I hope that this updated video was helpful and I wish you the best of luck with your SEO. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And as always, if you have any questions or need some extra assistance, leave a comment below and I'll do everything I can to help you out. Also, now that you've started your blog, check out these two videos on email marketing and blog monetization. They'll help you grow your audience and earn a passive income with your blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family. And for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.